this pouch so that I don't have to just put that. <laughs> and here on We Mama I do lots of motherhood, lifestyle, cleaning and organisational videos so if you like that kind of content I would love it if you could stick around and maybe consider subscribing. Today's video is going to be a motherhood video and I'm just going to do an updated what's in my nappy bag, diaper bag. I've done quite a few of these on my channel. I love seeing what other mums pack and what other mums find handy. I could literally go down like a YouTube hole just watching those videos because they're just so interesting. <laughs> I really love sharing what's in mine. I've done quite a few videos before, so I will link them all below. I really like to use a Fial Ravon Kanken, which is one of these. It's a good little backpack. I really love using these. I've actually got a black one, a yellow one, and a small mini one, and even a gray one. This one has just done us so well. I was originally using a big bright yellow one, and now nowadays, I don't know, I just feel a bit more comfortable wearing the black one. Uh, I just felt like it just matched my outfits a bit more and instead of it looking like I had Spongebob on my back. <laughs> In all honesty, this backpack is so heavy. Uh, we don't really tend to wear it on our backs. Uh, my husband will uh, every now and then, but my favourite thing to do with it is to use the handles. I just attach it to the handlebars of our pram so it just dangles down and I can just have it on easy access. I don't really need to worry about like back pain, things like that, and that's just where we stash it. I really wanted to do an updated video because now my daughter is seven months old and my little boy is two. Before, my little girl was breastfeeding so I didn't really need to carry anything for her aside from nappies and a muslin and my little boy is now toilet training. So I just wanted to do an updated nappy bag video for toilet training uh, and what I'm using. So yes, I have two little ones quite close together and this whole beast of a backpack has got quite a lot of stuff in it. It is so heavy. I'm, like I said before, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's really, really heavy and it's just full to the brim. I'm pretty sure my husband hates me when he's looking for stuff in there, but it is all organized. I have everything in a pouch. Nothing is loose in here. Otherwise I freak out. When my mum was looking after my little boy whilst I was in hospital having a little girl, I don't think she could really cope with the amount of pouches, so she would just toss things in. And when I got out of hospital, I needed to start using it again, had a mini meltdown because nothing was in the pouches. Yeah, I'm blaming you, mum. So I'll stop waffling and just get straight into it. So this one is like the larger laptop bag. It's got like two side pockets and in the side pocket I have uh, just some hand gel, of course, with COVID and everything. Uh, I mean, I always carry these about anyway because kids are gross. So uh, yeah, I've always, always need hand sanitizer. And this one's just handy. You just literally just pull it up and square it, it's really handy bottle. But anyway, yeah, that's what we tend to keep in there. And I usually do tend to keep an umbrella in here, but I can't find my umbrella at the moment because I lose those a lot. Uh, in the front pocket, I have spare dummies. My little boy doesn't tend to have dummies anymore, only for nap times. But if we're on a really long car journey or, you know, he is just out of sync, like he really needs a nap or something and he's like having a meltdown, which doesn't really happen that often if I'm completely honest. Uh, but yeah, it's there just in case. And also a spare one for my little girl, uh, different sizes, just in case. Uh, in here I have my house keys. Oh, I have not cleaned this out, so it's probably full of rubbish. This stuff I absolutely love, it's Vital Baby. And it's basically like sanitizing water and it's good for their hands. Uh, I don't really like to put the alcohol sanitizer on their hands on my little boy's hands just because it's quite harsh so this stuff is really good and you can also like spray it straight onto dummies to sanitize them and uh, there's no need to like rinse so I really like that it's good for when we're just about to eat and stuff like that what else do I have in here uh, a pack of raisins I always have snacks handy I don't tend to need them so much anymore because he's two and he's not too bad but yeah if I was like doing a food shop and he would get really bored in like the trolley I would have a few like meltdowns where he was like snack so I did need to have those 
in easy access range. There, isn't they? <laughs> uh, on here, I just have a little Moomin keychain because I love the Moomins. And in here was a little reusable bag, which I've lost, and I really need to find that. Up here, this is new. I bought this for my daughter. Um, it's a Milton sterilising dummy pod. I really like Milton. It's like a cold water and sterilising stuff. Um, basically, you can get it in in tablet form, and you just like put it into cold water and get it to dissolve, sterilise bottles, things like that. But this one's really cute because it's a dummy pod and in here it's got sponges and basically you fill it with water, let a cup with cold water, let a tablet dissolve in it and the sponge soaks up all the sterilising fluid. You can basically just stuff a dummy in there to clean it and sterilise it. I bought that for my little girl because she was breastfeeding but she took a dummy and a couple of weeks into her being born, I realised that I wasn't sterilising the dummy and I had a major freak out moment like oh, I've not sterilised the dummies, uh, I haven't got a steriliser anymore so uh, yeah, I just, a new mum, I just bought this and if I'm completely honest, we haven't really used that that often but it's nice to know that it's there moving on, into the huge pouch oh god, right okay, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff going on here I've just got a huge pack of wipes, I really like uh, the Mamiya brand from Aldi I just think they just do the job, and same with the nappies, I can't fault the nappies. In here is a, a pouch for me, this is like my me pouch, which is very unorganised. Uh, I would go into it, but it's really carnage in there. I've basically got spare masks in case I forget those, because the amount of times I've got to a shop, realised that I've forgotten a mask. It's nice to know that I've actually got some in there. I've got hand sanitizer, an apple plug, uh, an apple cable, a battery pack and the charger for that tissues and spare dummy just in case I lose my other spare one, uh, hand cream and tissues and a stain removing wipe. So yeah that's my pouch. Up here I have Mina's bottle so uh, I didn't really I couldn't really fit in any more pouches so I've just gone with these little bags. They are reusable so it's okay I guess. Uh, I've just got this formula pod thing so I can keep up to three sashes of formula and we're about to go out and we're not going very far so I only need to take one bottle but I do like to fill up this just in case because you know I can always sterilise this out, wash it out but I obviously can't always get formula so I like to have at least three in there just in case and uh, we've always used the Tommy Tippy brand so that's all for Nina, Nina's food. We will be weaning soon so I'm probably going to do another updated uh, bag video because I need to somehow manage to fit all her weaning stuff in here <sighs> which is going to be fun in here I've already done a separate video on this this is like a little first aid pouch I bought it off of eBay and it's just really good for me to keep a little peace of mind I've got all their teething stuff I've got like teething powders nail clippers, scissors. Scissors are mainly for, like for me for cutting tags off and just things like that. I've got Ambersol, a little thermometer, paracetamol for me and my main thing that I do use out of this is these little Calpol sachets. We always use these when we're out and about and in a pinch. If we go to family members and they don't have Calpol to hand, it's just a peace of mind that I've always got it on me. So there's a little spoon in there. I've got plasters, things like that, for mainly for me for blisters and in case my little boy ever needs them. Yeah, I like having everything in here. Like I mentioned in like a separate video all about this little pouch, so I will link that below as well. In here is like the spare clothes pouch, so I have like a full outfit for my little boy. I don't even think I can open this because it's so crammed. But yeah, I've got pants, socks, trousers, a top, a vest and a onesie for my little girl, just in case she has any uh, Poon armies. Um, I've got a muslin blanket for my little girl. Um, but she is really messy whenever we feed her. She doesn't sick up that often, but she doesn't suck the bottle properly. And so every three sucks, she spits a load out and she just gets soaked. So uh, I always need a muslin. I actually really want to start packing two because they just get so gross. <laughs> I've then got a food pouch. This one has not been updated in a while because like I said, we've not gone out to any restaurants or anything. So in here, uh, this is like a snack pouch as well. So uh, I've just got a load of raisins. That is like our main snack of choice. I've got um, cutlery. These ones are munchkin. I really like these. Uh, I really like this bib. I think we've used these for ages. I think my mum bought these ages ago. They are getting a bit 
like gross now, like stained. So I really do need to get some new ones of those. I really like these ones because they clip and you can just have it, you know, flat like that or it can turn into like the pelican capsule bibs. And I like these ones because they just fold up really, uh, really small but my main problem with this is that obviously I take it out to wash it and then I forget to put it back in so I have actually bought some disposable bibs which is what I kind of wanted to avoid doing that but these are just to use in a pinch like if I do forget uh, a bit my little boy is getting a lot older now he is too so he's not making as much mess so I don't actually know how much longer I'm gonna need these for him uh, but then I've also got my little girl who will be taking over and I'll need them for her. Then last in the little food pouch, I have this little reusable collapsible straw. Um, I haven't really needed to use this in a while. It basically comes out like that and it turns into a little funky straw. And it's got a straw cleaner in there and yeah, it's just a handy little box. So yeah, it like all folds up and it just goes in there. <laughs> the reason that I bought this was because I was really bad at forgetting my little boy's water bottle. We'd go out for the day, uh, you know, do shopping, we'd go see family members, and I would always, always forget uh, my little boy's water bottle. So it got to the point where I just couldn't spend any more money or fit any more water bottles in my cupboards. So I just thought this would be a really good alternative. All he needed was a straw, so I could just buy a bottle of water and put that in, and I was good to go. So yeah, that is everything in like the food snack pouch. I then have a little roll up changing mat. This one was from eBay. I just like that this one was quite compact. So I like that this one is fabric. It just rolls up and you can just squish it in, which is really handy. Then I have a nappy pouch. So in here, I've got mostly nappies now for my little girl because my little boy is toilet training. Uh, but I do have um, a pull up in there for him just in case. And then I've also got like bum cream and nappy bags. And then I also have a toilet training pouch for my little boy. I've also gone into a video, like in depth video about this uh, in another video. That video should be up already. So yeah, I'll link that below. Uh, and in here, instead of having to take my whole bag in with me to the toilets, I can just grab this. It hasn't really been tried and tested because I've only really used it in like our park toilets at the moment, because obviously we can't go anyway. But in here, I've just got a spare pair of pants, gloves, wet wipes, nappy bags, hand sanitizer, some antiviral wipes, just to wipe down any like nasty stuff in the bathroom if needs be. I've also got toilet liners just in case and a spray bottle of disinfectant in case I need to spray down the, top, the public toilets. I really don't like public toilets, so that's why there's a lot of cleaning stuff in here. So yeah, that's like my handy to go toileting pouch. I really love that I've put this together and you know, just in case we have any like poo related accidents, I'm covered. Then in the back, I've got this little contraption. I absolutely love this. It's basically a little toilet seat, folding toilet seat. I think I got this one off of Amazon or eBay. They both do it. Uh, but it's like a little frog toilet seat. It's just so that your little ones can sit on it without falling down the toilet. It's super handy and really compact, which is obviously what you need you know, for your nappy bag. Uh, I really love that it comes in this pouch so that I don't have to just put that. I really like that it comes in this bag so you know it's not touching anything else in there after it's been on a public toilet but yeah like I mentioned in the toileting pouch I've got a little disinfectant spray so that I can spray it down. Then in the back I also, ooh, then I also have this huge like mat, um, it's just like a big silicone mat that you can put on the table and it's also got the pelican mouth catching thing there. I think we got this from Boots when we went to restaurants. We obviously didn't want to give him a china plate in case he flung it uh, and I didn't really want to be putting things down onto a table either because some places are just gross, they don't really clean things properly. So yeah again for like another bit of peace of mind it was really handy to have that. But yeah when we start weaning with Nina I'm probably really gonna be thankful that I have that to hand. Last but not least, we just have some things for my little boy in the back pouch. Uh, I've just got a sticker book for him. It doesn't take up any room and, you know, if things are taking too long in a restaurant, this was really, really helpful and good for my sanity. So he's actually got some stickers to just keep him distracted. He loves drawing, so um, yeah, we've just got a little play notebook there and also some pencils. That is everything in my bag.
And there we have it, everything that I carry in my bag. It is a beast, like I mentioned. It's so super heavy and I definitely wouldn't be able to carry it for that long if I didn't have the pram. But yeah, it's got everything that I would ever need in it. And the only thing that's kind of missing that I had to really take out from this bag was like a busy toy bag. But now my little boy, he really uses his little, uh, little life turtle backpack and we just put his like toys, his water bottle in there. That takes a little bit of pressure off this bad boy. But yeah, that is everything in here and I am probably going to do a updated one in a couple of months maybe when I need to take it all out, see what we do and don't use anymore and also add in Nina's weaning things because that's going to be interesting. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you're still here, if you made it to the end of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Please leave any comments down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye!